okay this is my first let's chat type of um, speed art video that I'm doing a voiceover for um, I've been wanting to for a while now I just think they're like really fun um, and entertaining to watch I watch so many speed art videos that do like a let's talk let's chat type of thing and just thought I would uh, give it my own shot so uh, this uh, first video I have is of um, Score Bunny, who's excited for the new Pokemon. Like, they announced a um, new Pokemon, and Score Bunny was the first one that shot out to me. I normally start every single Pokemon game as the Fire Pokemon. I'm sure most people do, too. But, um, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm attracted to the Fire type. But, you know, what's funny is if they had, like, a Ghost type or... Um, something else as a starter I wouldn't choose fire because ghost is like my favorite um, but yeah so I choose fire every time I don't know why um, the only times I don't choose fire are like when um, the grass type are like really cool like Trico like he's the bomb I chose Trico over like Torchic and I've never have once chosen the water type Pokemon. I don't know what it is about the water Pokemon that I just can't um, pick them. They just don't feel, I don't know, I guess water's not my element or something because I just can't pick water. Um, it's not to say that water Pokemon are not cute. They are extremely cute, especially, um, what is he, um, Sob Sobble? That's his name. I'm pretty sure it's Sobble, the chameleon water Pokemon. He's super cute. Um, cause I really love chameleons, but, um, but yeah, so Pokemon have been in my life for like ever since I was little and I've always like, um, drawn them throughout the years because it's like a, um, exercise. Like if I ever want to break an art block, I draw Pokemon because, um, they're really simple, basic shapes. And so they, they get real easy to draw and once I start drawing them, it's real easy to get in the flow of like drawing a lot of them. I wanted to tell the story of <laughs> when I was in fourth grade and um, Pokemon trading card just came out the first set and actually I think it was the first set and second set so maybe it wasn't like the first time it came out um, but I had a crap ton of Pokemon cards I had legit like I had all the foils I was like a little rat about Pokemon and so it got around the school that um, I had like a nine tails, uh, holographic nine tails, and um, this sixth grader came up to me and he's all, "I heard you have that nine tails," and I'm like, "Yes, yes, I do," and he's like, "Well, what do you think you want for it?" And I'm like, "Um, I really don't know." Like, I don't know. When you're a kid, you just really don't know anything. And you're kind of, I was kind of put in the spot. It, I was walking to my class and I didn't really have my Pokemon cards out for him to like look at, or he didn't have his out for me to look at his. It was just kind of awkward. And I was like, I don't know. And he's like, and then the bell rings. And then he starts walking away. He's like, be thinking what you want for that nine tails. And I'm like, okay. But, um, we ended up never trading cause I don't know why memory's a little foggy, but, uh, I just remember like losing my nine tails card at recess, but I never knew I lost it. I had dropped it underneath the recess table, recess, <laughs> the recess table. And, um, the next day, um, my friend looks underneath the table and finds that card, the nine tails foil. And he's like, Oh, someone lost the Pokemon card. And he like flips it around. It's a foil nine tails. And I quickly like skim through my freaking cards. Cause obviously I have them at me at all times. And I'm like, Oh, please. That is actually mine. I lost it. I didn't know I lost it, but <laughs> I don't have it in my cards anymore. Please. That is actually my card. And he gave it to me. Um, I guess he wasn't really into Pokemon cards. Cause you know how kids are the finders keepers type deal, but he actually gave it back to me. And so, and this is just a funny story because, um, later down the years, my sister, uh, <laughs> ended up dating the guy who wanted my Ninetales foils card. 
And um, so I brought it up to my sister and mom. You know, uh, your boyfriend was the one who wanted my Nine Tails card, and I told her exactly like how he said it. And she started busting up, and she goes and tries to like ask him if that was him and stuff. He completely denies it. He's like, I don't remember anything like that. You know, trying to be so cool as if like he's above Pokemon or something. And I'm like, oh, give me a break. So it was really funny, but um. But yeah, Pokemon are my jam. I love Pokemon. That's my, um, I am drawing Score Bunny for you today is because he's gonna be my starter. Um, yeah, too cute, too cute bunny. Unfortunately, I've never kept, unfortunately, I never kept like, um, all my Pokemon cards from when I was little, um, which is super bummer because obviously they're, um, wanted you know sought out for but um i was um going through a phase where i felt like i needed to just like grow up or something so i uh ended up giving them to my nephew all my cards and i had a ton i had a ton and so i gave them to him and i gave him like all like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards i had as well i didn't have many but um i actually uh I actually kept like my favorites out of the Pokemon cards and the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I gave it gave it to him, and then he went through a phase where he was growing up, so he gave him to his little brother, and so when his little brother grew up a little bit more, I kind of like went back and sought for like my cards, and he had actually traded them all, and gave them all away, and the only one he had was like Sabrina's like vile not Sabrina, well I don't know uh, Erica's vile plume. There you go. It's been a while. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and it's just funny. Um, wish I would have kept them, but I didn't. So to this day, I actually do collect Pokemon cards still. I'm not as crazy as I was with it. Um, I still have like, um, I just like to collect, um, just the cards that I find like that are, that are really pretty, um, a lot of the um, pretty EX cards and stuff like that. I don't really know much about it anymore. I just like them because they're pretty. Um, I never actually got into like the Pokemon battling either. So, yeah, just a just a filthy collector. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm just hoping that this starter is um, not firefighting again. <laughs> Be like fairy fire, something. Fairy fire would be so cute, or fairy fighting, um, something cute. But I'm assuming it's gonna be firefighting because he has like the little bandage on his little nose and his feet. So I'm assuming he's um firefighting again. I'm also very curious, like what all Pokemon they're gonna have in the new Pokemon game, like what gens. Um, I see they have Hoot Hoot in there and stuff like that, but I'm just in like Flygon and stuff, so I'm really hoping like Altaria will be in there. Um, and uh, what, which one she'll be in, like Sword or Shield? I'm assuming it's gonna be Sword that she's gonna be in if she would be in this one. Um, just super excited for her to be in updated Pokemon games. This game just looks so amazing already. Like the graphics and everything are really cool. Um, I'm glad to see that they changed like the um, Pokemon Let's Go where you like encounter random battles. It's just like, you know, you're sneaking through the grass and then you do that. I was kind of like um, spoiled with Pokemon Let's Go. So I kind of like liked that um, aspect of it where you could actually see all the Pokemon. So getting shinies was so easy. Like... I have like shiny coughing, shiny meowth was the first one I got. Shiny meowth, I like farmed for that. And right after I got the shiny meowth, a shiny venonat spawned right after I caught it. So that was like really insane. And then, um, sorry for sniffling all the time. I'm like, like allergies are here today or something. I don't know. But yeah, um, catching shinies in there is so easy. I caught a shiny coughing and she's so adorable. I love shiny coughing. Um, and um let's see who else did i get oh a nidoran nidoran male and i think that's all the shinies i caught on there so far but super easy way to get shinies on there and i was kind of hoping it would be the same because it's so easy but uh <laughs> looks like looks like that's not how it's gonna be in this new game, new Pokemon game but you know it's good it's a good thing that they 
um, reverted it back to like the traditional Pokemon game of just like going through the world and random encounters, stuff like that. But um, thanks for listening to my first uh, Let's Talk. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it wasn't too boring. Um, promise I'll come up with something more interesting next time. Um, I'll be coming out with a lot more uh, Let's Talk videos. I think the rest of them will be a Let's Talk from here on out. Like, I'm not gonna make any more, like, music and speed art. Unless you guys want that. But I'm, I'm gonna be talking a lot in my videos because I think it's fun. I love to listen to other people do this, so just hoping people will enjoy mine too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and, um... I hope you really loved my little score money I drew too. <laughs> um, Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!